Welcome to Arsenal, William. Yes, the William deal is done. And it's really good to see that they were able to close that down. A lot of people are moaning about 220 grand a week because you've limited the fact that you've got, got him on a free transfer. So I don't really understand. Again, this is another example of gaslighting from the media and just to send the fans into a meltdown, um, just to give them another reason to complain. Guys, do the math. This is a great deal for Arsenal. It's a great deal for the player. And he cited Mikel Arteta, his tactics. He was talked about what he saw when he looked on the sidelines of the FA Cup final. You only have to look at the fact that Arsenal have punched below their weight previously in years under Emery, under Wenger. And now what we've seen is a situation where Arteta has got these guys playing at a level where they are now punching above their weight. So it's a situation that is really good for Arsenal. They've got themselves a proven quality player, seventh in the league in chances created, and he scores 11 goals. He's had nine assists last season as a total, so he had a hand in 20 goals for Chelsea. And when you look at the fact that we've got Pepe, who's got eight goals and nine assists from the right, if you look at the fact that Martinelli got 10 goals from the left, if you look at the fact that Saka on the left also had four goals and 12 assists. And then in the middle is where the problem is. You've got two goals, two assists from Ceballos. You've got nothing from Jaka. You do have five goals from Willock, but a lot of that came in competitions outside of the Premier League. But if you get somebody who can score 11 and had nine assists and third in the league and chances created and plug them at the top of the diamond in the middle there, where you had kind of Ceballos operating, then I think that you've got something that really works well for the balance of the team because, as I said before, we don't look after the ball well. We're not productive in the middle of the park as far as the people who that you have in there, Ceballos, Xhaka, they're not productive at all on any level. Um, and although Ceballos plays well defensively, you need somebody to plug in the park. So if you play him high up the field in that kind of a false 10 role, in that Kevin De Bruyne role, then I think you can do something with William. And then you just need two bona fide holding midfielders um, that would be able to protect the back four and then facilitate the passes into William. So I think it's a deal that really works well. Just don't listen to the media. Don't get sucked into all that stuff because it's just complete rubbish. Right now, what they need to work on is Thomas Party. They need to... Uh, look, he's not going anywhere because he wants to come to Arsenal. All they have to do is agree a fee. And it's really for Arsenal. Atletico Madrid are not going to move on that fee. It's for Arsenal to just come up with the cash. And for me, if they just do those two deals, if Willian and Partey comes in, it would change the face of the team as a whole because midfield is where the problem is. Yeah? We will have Mari back. We will have Chambers back. And William Saliba is going to be in there. So as far as the defence goes and centre-backs, all that's going to change up anyway. So it's realistically players out now. I'm a bit miffed why we've gone over a week into this now. We're the, the, the 14th of August and there's still no signs of players leaving. So that's a real concern to me. But every other team's in the same boat. Man United are trying to get rid of eight players. Chelsea's trying to get rid of 10 players. You know, there's a lot of players on the books that Liverpool wants to get rid of as well. And, uh, you know, we're talking about the Milner, Lallana, and uh, there's a plethora of players that need to go. But the thing is, every team is in the same situation. Barcelona is saying that they've got eight players they want to get rid of. Real Madrid, look at the players they're trying to get rid of, and they've still got Gareth Bale on the books. So it's not just Arsenal. Don't get frustrated with the fact that these players are lingering around, like uh, Socrates, etc. It's not that no other team wants them, guys. It's just that there's a ton of players in, in top teams that are looking for new places to play next season. And realistically, we're just part of a, a big cog in the wheel that is spinning and players are going to end up staying with the teams that they were in last year simply because there's just no space, no money and no reason for them to sign with other teams. It bodes well for us in the likes of Torreira. If he stays, then that would be good because it'll just give him a chance to play in a natural position. But outside of that, guys, I'm not really looking for that much else to move outside of us bringing in Thomas Party. That would be a good deal to do. And then, obviously, Abamian to re-sign, and then I think that we're practically ready to go uh, as long as we can get the fitness levels up for the guys that are injured, you know, Chambers, Martinelli, etc. Those are the players that we want to see on the pitch next season. So, listen, I'm going to leave it right there, but welcome, William. Welcome, Uraguna. Big shout out to you, my brother. Nice one. Right back at you.